congratulations on everything going on. Well, for, before we talk about, you know, how you've been knocking the cover off the ball, you got your first home run. Oh, I yeah. mean, what was that feeling like? Felt pretty good, you know. It came off the bat, and you know, being the first one, you know, I couldn't really watch it. You know, I gotta <laughs> hustle out of the box so I don't get yelled at. But when it went over the fence, you know, it really made me feel good. You know, everything that I've been working on and doing in the cages and out off the field, you know, it's really showing to really showing my swing. So it feels good. Coach talked about that you you struggled in fall, and you know. Oh yeah. Talk about that journey. What clicked for you? Uh. You know, my fall and summer, you know, I, I, I just wasn't really locked in. You know, I wasn't really bought into the uh, the, oh God, the system that, like I, we always talk about. And, you know, I went I went in Christmas break, and I just really got a mental reset and just came back with the killer be killed mindset, you know, and, and it's really worked. So. What's it like this season just when you finally got your opportunity to get out there and hit and you started hitting? I mean, you had to feel good, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you know, I started getting in there, and I just started doing my thing. You know, I didn't really try to do too much. Just try to play my game and keep my head on the ball, and it's working, so we just keep doing it. How did you get to UCF? What was kind of your connection? You're from down in Lakeland, right? Did yes. you commit a while ago? Or so my, I believe it was my junior year, uh, Love Lady actually came out to a tryout for me and saw me catch and asked me to come out to a camp, and after that it was pretty much wraps. I came out to the camp, and he offered me at the camp. So it was, it was all pretty much just to get, get me here, and then that was it. You know? You, get, you had a pretty consistent bat for the, the the last few starts, but I mean, just today alone, you've had your you had the RBI uh, the RBI lat in the first game, and then this, of course, you had your first career collegiate home run going three for four. I mean, now that the rest of the offense is really seem to really kind of get on your page, I mean, uh, how, what does this feel like to be on this offense now? Man, it's it's something else, you know. You going up there, you know, if you if you lay one down, if you, whatever you do, you know, the next guy up is definitely gonna do his job. You know, it's not something you got to worry about. You know, being a freshman, coming out of high school, it was you know it was just me and maybe two or three other guys that could really hit the ball, and I had to worry about that. You know, after I hit, but here we got we just got a team of hitters, man. They just go up there and they do their job, and it's something to watch. You know? well, what's it like catching this pitching staff? Twenty nine out of the thirty innings, they've last 30 innings they've allowed no runs they've been on fire lately man it is beautiful it's the best thing that a catcher could ask for you know you always want to be in and out especially as a catcher and a pitcher you know you don't want any runners on and it makes my job a lot easier it makes me look better that my, my pitchers are doing the job so hopefully they keep it up and we keep rolling you I mean, get the sweep over your rival but perhaps more importantly you start conference playoff three and oh oh yeah you know it we yeah it's conference play but you know we come out here with the, the mindset that we just need to win it doesn't matter what team's on the field. It doesn't matter if it's just regular play or if it's conference play. We're out here to win. And, I mean, yeah, it's, it's going to be a little hyped up, you know, that's conference play. But other than that, you know, we're, we're here to win. Well, it doesn't mean, matter what. On that note, I mean, how big is the sweep your rival? You know, oh. you know, with the war on I-4, the softball team swept USF a couple weeks ago too. So. Oh, yeah, no, it's it definitely definitely makes us all feel pretty good, you know. We're going to have ourselves a celebration after that. I mean, sweep USF, like – Makes you feel good. War on I-4, head our way, you know. Just keep, keep it up and hopefully we keep rolling. You aren't the only freshman that that has been really making marks. Lex Bodeker, Ryan Taylor, Michael Brooks, a redshirt freshman. Well, like, have you gotten the chance to really talk to some of your fellow freshmen? Like, and what is, what's the kind of the vibe of this incoming class? The vibe, uh, that's a good question. Uh, I say the incoming class, you know, we came here with the idea that we want to win a championship. You know, we didn't come here scared to, you know, show out and do our thing. We weren't scared of the upperclassmen, and the upperclassmen really brought us in and, you know, cared for us. So we come in and we feel we feel comfortable with all the guys, and we just fit right in. So, you know, it just feels like we're another one of the teammates did playing they, to play ball. Did they end up giving you the nickname Sunny D, or that was something before high school or before college? No, that, that kind of just caught on when I got here, you know. Sun D, Sunny D just kind of came off the tongue just right, so. It sounds good. I like it, so we're going to keep it. Well, how, good, how good are the guys feeling right now? I mean, they had some disappointing weekends, non-conference <laughs> play. Now you've come out. You're 3-0 and in conference. I mean, the team has to be feeling pretty good, right? Oh, yeah. You know, it. we, we had a we had a rough stretch there for a little bit. You know, we started out hot, and then we kind of let it down. But three wins in a row in the weekend to sweep, that's, that, that, that's a confidence booster for sure. So we're definitely going to just keep our heads up and keep pushing, you know. And now you got to carry it onto the road. You got. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Now the road home game, it's it's a different scenery, but same mindset. We're there to win. So. Did you always catch growing up? Were you always a catcher? Yeah, I something? started catching when I was like six years old. So. Who were your favorite catchers to watch growing up? Like? Posey, okay. Buster Posey, and that was about it. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. We're the best. <laughs> yep. Last one. So you ended up having to kind of be pushed into service after Riley Wash got injured, yeah. but you know you you've really kind of I guess really made your case of why they keep, they keep keep you in the game. So how does it how does it feel to have to, I guess earned your place in in a sense? And what do you want to do for, as you move forward through the season? What do you think you can improve on your game going forward? Um, I mean, I, there's always room for improvement. You know, I'm, I'm going to keep going up there at the bat and just keep swinging it like I am and not really try to change my mindset, not get ahead of myself, you know, just keep doing my thing. Behind the plate, you know, I got a few things to work on, but I'm feeling pretty comfortable back there. So I'm going to keep doing my thing there too, and hopefully everything just pans out. Thanks, 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 Th